Johnny Depp has been in the news quite frequently as of recently with this whole shitty situation he's got going on with Amber Heard. That was a terrible joke. I'm so sorry. She's still odd, though. It give me a call, Amber, if you see this. And because I have ADHD and often find myself going down rabbit holes full of useless information on the internet, I discovered our friend Johnny here captains more than the Black Pearl. Turns out, he's got quite the car collection. You can have these sort of rides when you're one of the richest actors in the world. But his latest acquisition did surprise me. First up is a Rolls Royce Wraith. I don't know the year, but what I do know is it costs around $330,000. That's just a tad more than I have. The Wraith is a bold style statement that seems to fit him well. It's reported Johnny shows up to work quite frequently in his Wraith. I would do the same, Johnny. I would do the same. After all, it's a master-crafted, ultra-luxurious automotive experience, powered by a V12. It seems Mr. Depp has a thing for luxurious and dynamic vehicles, which is why a 2015 Range Rover is what's next in his collection. Range Rovers are among the most prestigious level of luxury SUVs. They have a long history of quality craftsmanship, and a legacy of go-anywhere off-road prowess. The 2015 Range Rover is powered by either a 3.0-liter V6 or a supercharged 5.0-liter V8, pumping out an impressive 510 horsepower. My guess is old Johnny Boy went with the 5.0-liter. And who knows if he still actually got this Range Rover. Uh, most of the pictures that I found of it had Miss Heard driving it. And if her driving skills are anything like her testimony, I have a feeling that car probably isn't still in one piece. How can you be a car fan and not have a Corvette? I have one, and so does our pal Johnny. Except his is arguably a lot cooler than mine. And 42 years older, Johnny's got a C1. Johnny was gifted this 1959 Corvette by producer Graham King as a token of his appreciation for his performance in the 2011 movie, The Rum Diary. His red Corvette played a prominent role in the film, and Johnny apparently became pretty attached to his fiberglass co-star. Love this car. Talk about a bonus. I feel like every celebrity has a Porsche. Joe Rogan, whose car collection I went over last time, had like five of them. Depp is just a little bit different and uh, has only one. Poor guy. Now, I wasn't able to track down specifics on the year of the Porsche, just that it's a Porsche 911. Shocker. Most said from the late 1980s, so that would be 911 Carrera, or 911 Turbo, and based on these pictures I found, well, here's Mr. Johnny with a Porsche that appears to be an earlier 911, and here he is again with a later 911. So we're just gonna go with he has a 911. Not like they changed much throughout the years anyway. Ferrari 488 Spider finished in Rosso Corsa. Now this one surprised me. Johnny doesn't strike me as a Ferrari guy, yet here he is, Captain Jack Sparrow at the helm of the incredible $300,000 3.9 liter twin turbocharged V8 powered Ferrari 488 Spider. A very impressive supercar capable of hitting 60 in just 2.9 seconds. I'm sure this will be the car that Johnny takes on his last day of court so he can escape as quickly as humanly possible away from Amber Heard. I can't say I blame him, but Amber, if you do see this, give me a, give me a call. I have a Corvette too, it's just a little different. Sure, it's red. Yeah, sure. What's your favorite car to Mr. Johnny Depp's collection? I'm going to have to go with the Corvette. Or maybe the Ferrari. I, I cannot decide. Let me know your favorite down in the comments below. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy motoring.